to Crypto's Rich Boy. Today, we're going to be talking about Crow with Knife. But before we get started, guys, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, and share it with your friends. Now, with the meme space just absolutely killing it for this cycle, and the Kronos chain, I think, has not really, it's had some success, but it hasn't really seen some of those things that the other ecosystems have seen, like Ethereum and Solana and BNB. I think that this could really, really do very, very, very well once the market comes back up. So right now we have the market. <clears throat> it's about um, $57,000 for Bitcoin. We um, are expecting the FOMC results coming out today. I think that's around like 2 or 2.30. So that's about maybe two, uh, three or four hours from now. And I think that is what people are really waiting for. They want to see. Most people think that it's not going to go up. Most people think um, it's actually going to stay the same. I tend to agree that it's going to kind of stay the same for this one time. Um, the only thing I can see is if they lower the rates, I think that is going to be the thing to turn the whole market back around and start to head up um, back to that $70,000, 75000 $80,000. So Crow and Knife, or C-A-W, Caw, um, it is at uh, 12 13 so one two one three. It is 11.51% up for the day. It has $95.44 million in the ecosystem with 700 seven seven hundred seventy seven point seventy eight trillion um ka in the total um supply so like i said it is on the the crypto.com or chronos um chain chronos is one of those that i am very heavily invested in and i have seen it kind of um you know yesterday the day before it was kind of like stabilizing and i was like okay the market's going down why is uh, the crow coin not going down as much i'm glad but why is it not so then i started doing some research and i found out that you know the caw coin is up 11.59 percent so if you guys want to go ahead and grab this it is on some pretty good exchanges crypto.com it is on um mm finance <clears throat> it's on radium uh uniswap vvs finance so there's a lot there's a couple different ways that you guys can go ahead and grab this i think crypto.com is really probably what's putting it on the map um with it being the largest ex largest exchange um you can get it off the swapping sites like radium and uniswap but i think crypto.com is definitely one that um is probably going to put this on the map so this is just you know a classic meme coin right you have a crow picked up a knife someone took a picture of it and um it looks like this is turning into a meme so they have some different youtubers that have went ahead and uh taken taken this um and made videos on it so buy on jupiter uniswap vvs pancake swap uh uniswap and coming soon to arbitrum what that is actually pretty sweet so um they even have a gmail real chronos um wait real chronos crow crow uh crow 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 uh, it's like a tongue twister at gmail.com so let's go ahead and see um they have a x account yes they do let's go ahead and check that out see what we got for their x account and um oh man it signed me out again um, i don't know why it does that sometimes i like stay signed in sometimes it signs me out but let's see um <clears throat> all right so oh all right maybe now i gotta go back and uh and click on this and uh, it'll go directly to them. All right, I'm going to give them a follow. So 12,000 followers. Uh, WTF does crawl even, uh, crow with knife even mean. So uh, that's, uh, you know, it's, it's a meme, right? Some of these memes, people don't even realize like what they're even meaning, what they even do. But like I said, because it's on the uh, the the Chronos ecosystem, 
which is crypto.com and crypto.com has listed them i think this is going to give um caw coin or call coin a very big advantage i think um you know um people that are long-term investors like myself and the cro token we've been kind of looking for our time to shine we've been looking for the token to kind of bring us to that next level um you know the the the, the, the crypto.com they have tons of stuff going they're killing it when it comes to marketing and uh and now they have a um a crow with uh, a knife to help them in that journey no pun intended um so xy finance congrats for hitting a hundred million market cap so they hit a hundred million market cap obviously the market is kind of down right now but I, I think i think this was gonna happen i think the market is about um i think we're gonna get the fomc results I think we're going to flash crash to like 55 and then I think by the end of the night or maybe by the end of the week, potentially the weekend, I think we're going to be back in the mid 60s to low 70s. That's just my um, my um, prediction, I guess, if you want to say it, um, not financial advice of course, but we have to look past this short term play, right? We have to look past, we have to really understand what is going on and we have to really um understand the um the big picture because when in when in doubt zoom out so if you go to the weekly chart the monthly chart you know um just like i've done with with crypto.com just like i've done with bitcoin just like i've done with all these other ones it seems to me that we know a couple things we know meme coins are killing it this this um this cycle last cycle was nfts this cycle it's meme coins we have the ai space that has been popping off we have <clears throat> obviously your og coins and your your top your top 10 that's been popping off your your bitcoins your ethereums your solanas stuff like that so i think the summer is going to be really good and i think quarter four is going to be really good and i think it's going to continue to 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 go in upwards momentum but we have to have those um it seems like 20 percent pullbacks and that's healthy for our market right now this is very healthy like i've heard a lot of other youtubers say if we were up only i would get very nervous um now something i kind of didn't necessarily like but i guess it could be a good thing is one one of the youtubers was like this is turning into almost like a stock market where we're not seeing those 40 50 60 percent run-ups and and pullbacks we're seeing maybe like we're getting down like the 20 percent and i think um, maybe next cycle is going to be like 10 percent like we're going to go up like 15 percent down 10 percent another another up like 20 percent down you know um down 12 percent or whatever so the volatility is becoming less which is why I really think this might be the last cycle to get that volatility that a lot of people came to the crypto space to get. Um, now, you're always going to have the the um, the niche in the market. You're always going to have like those like like I said, NFTs was last cycle. This cycle is um, is um, is uh, what's it called? Meme coins. And you're always going to have that sector that is always going to outperform. But if you just hold and you just kind of get past, if you just stomach this little drop, in my opinion, I think we are going to see a very, very good second part of the year, just like we saw the, a good beginning of the year. Uh, we just need that little bit of pullback because we need those paper hands to sell, um, those people that are, were just in it for a quick buck. And I get it. Some people are like, well, um, you know, like um for myself i got into solana at 40 bucks it went up to 210 bucks now i'm holding because uh there was some other positions that i was able to take profit on so there are some some long-term plays like crypto.com solana um i have some other plays in my in my portfolio and i think um the cock coin a crow with knife could be a very good play 
for people that um, know that the Kronos ecosystem is going to do well. And and we have Corey AI, which um, was on the Kronos ecosystem. And then you got to kind of have like your pairs, right? Like you had Dogecoin and Shiba Inu on the Ethereum network. Um, and so you had, um, you know, so you you got to have your pair, right? And I think Corey AI and then CAW could be the pair for the Kronos ecosystem. And the Kronos ecosystem hasn't had their time really to shine, in my opinion. Um, you know, I was watching, um, you know, a pretty big YouTuber, and they were talking about, like, BNB, like, Solana was the poor man's BNB. Now Solana has moved up, right? And now we're looking for that next kind of, like, quote-unquote, poor man's BNB. Um, you know, this particular person, like, the Sweet Network, um, which maybe a lot of people could say, well, the Kronos Network is kind of bigger, so... Um, but if you look at it for what it's doing for the, for, for the rewards that it's giving, um, people are going to naturally flock to that, no pun intended again, um, flock to that. And they're going to look for those meme coins, you know, once they make profits to kind of flow their money into. So I think Crow and Knife could do very well. I think the fact that it's on one of the biggest exchanges, uh, crypto.com, um, especially that you could just hook up your debit card, hook up your bank account and purchase right there. There's only a handful of those that you could do. Um, I think, um, Coinbase is one crypto.com is another. And I think you could do it like, you know, with the, with the swapping services like Uniswap and, um, things like that. But for those new people, they're going to download crypto.com. Wow. There's so many perks. You could get 8% on their card program. They got 20% on their, their earn program. Um, okay. So now I got this, you know, um, meme coins are popping off. Whoa. They have crow with knife. It's on their ecosystem. Cool. Let me buy some crypto, uh, you know, some crow coin. All right. Now let me buy their, you know, let me swap it or they could just buy that coin directly. So I think FOMC meeting is going to come. I personally think we're going to have a little bit of like a flash crash. Um, and then I think by the end of the week, though, whatever happens today, I personally think we're going to see the bottom. We're going to start coming back up. That's just my opinion. We're in May. Um, we've, we had a pretty, a pretty, uh, there was a bloodbath in the streets for April. I think uh, we couldn't really sustain the green anymore. You got to think we had too many green candles for the monthlies. And it was getting to the point where it was breaking records. I think it was like, what, seven? Our record was six or it was eight and our record was seven. One of them. I have to go back and check. But it was um like it was like an extra month on, on our previous green after green after green after green. We needed a red. We definitely needed a red. But does that mean we have to stay in the red? No. This is – I still think this is the year of the bull market. Um, I think it's going to flow into next year. If you look at previous uh, cycles, it's going to flow into next year. And I think this is where a lot of these ETF um, are going to get in. A lot of these um, institutional investors are going to get in. So it kind of has to push everything. But like I said, I think once it gets pushed, it's going to take a year, two years, three years to kind of to kind of even out. And then I don't think we're going to get high volatility, in my opinion, for Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um so we have to see what happens with the altcoins. But altcoin season is still coming, in my opinion. Crow with Knife, I believe, is going to do very well. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, comment section down below. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Till next time, guys.